All right, so today we're going to do uh, the start of our little grow tent. Um, I was going to get the eight-year-old to help me out, but she's out building a fort, of all things, in the, uh, in the front yard. So um, this is just some generic America Select tomato red cherries, red cherry tomatoes. Um, you know, it is what it is. She wanted to do tomatoes because they're the easiest. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, basically what we're going to do today is we're going to get the uh, Grodan rock wool cubes uh, pH balance for the uh, water we're going to be using, which is going to be straight tap water. We're not going to do anything fancy with this, uh, this grow because she's going to be mostly in control. Uh, and I'll just come up behind her and, and check and make sure that she's doing what she needs to be doing. Uh, so basically, we're going to go ahead and put these in water, and we'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to let these soak for, you know, maybe an hour or two. Uh, most people recommend 24 hours. I don't think that's necessary. These just come out, and on the side here, there's a little strip. Just like that. And I'm just going to drop it right in. And you'll see that it's going to sink. And I'm going to do two of them. And then once these are nice and soaked and ready to go, a couple hours, we're going to go ahead and add a couple of seeds to those and put those in the germination process. But for that, we will be uh, using a little uh, germination tent or dome. We'll put a couple seeds in each one of these cubes and hopefully we'll get one to sprout within a few days. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put the seeds in our little cubes here. So we've drained all the water. The cubes are nice and heavy. I'm going to set them in the dome. I'm going to take three seeds each cube and just drop them in one more okay kind of pinch the top there three more seeds go into the other one just kind of drop them this way it increases the chances. You can always thin it out later. Just drop right in. Kind of give it a squeeze. Squeeze. Make sure that just like that. And that's all there is to it. So then we'll put the dome on. This one's got vents on the top, which is good. We're going to go ahead and make sure that that's, those cubes stay wet at all times. So to do that, I'm going to actually close these vents. And I'll check them daily, if not twice a day, and mist them when need be. You can also add water to this, which I may do, um, to the bottom of this, and it'll keep the dome nice and humid. But really, a high humidity right now is what you want. Uh, put these in a cool place, preferably not so bright, but not too dark, because you want a little bit of light. Um, and within, I would say, probably four to seven days, you should have at least a couple of little uh, sprouts um, and or roots. Just kind of depends. Um, key of this is not to mess with it. Just let it wait. If you, after two weeks nothing shows up, 10 to 14 days, you can probably go ahead and count that those seeds were some bad seeds. Now these seeds that I'm using don't have a date on them, but I know that we've had this pack of seeds probably a good three or four years. So these may be duds, but chances of that happening are pretty slim. Alright, so the other day we put some seeds some little tomato seeds in their rock wool cubes and as you can see one has not sprouted and they're still wet 
and it's been about seven days and then two of the seeds of the three that I put in this rock will cube have sprouted and as you'll notice take the lid off here as you can probably see they're very lanky and that is because there was no light put on them I was out of town and doing other things other projects and then all of a sudden bam these things shot up like a rocket um, lanky stems means they are searching for light they are looking for light um, realistically these will probably never really get that strong because I waited too long to put light on them um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start these but at the same time I'm gonna go ahead and get a different batch going um, in a different rock roll cube I'm gonna transplant these within the next couple of days get them in some light see how they do um, because if I blow on those they're just shaking like crazy so that means they're gonna have a weak main stem and that's not what I want I want something beefy um, so we're gonna go ahead and play with these a little bit maybe put them outside and do something new um, this time I'll have to keep an eye on it but in the meantime we'll go ahead and deal with that and get the uh, grow tent set up and I'll go ahead and show you that probably in a separate video um, but this project has literally gotten away from me so uh, in the meantime bear with me I'm gonna try and get something up uh, concerning this grow tent um, and see what we can get growing this season before it gets too late. Alright, till next time.